Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So we're gonna do a quick repair, but in this kind of repair of these fingers, I'm gonna explain a couple things to people in case you ever wanna do a repair on your own and you're kinda happy with just gluing something together. So, this hand was broken and somebody actually glued these back together. Now, I can only guess that they used super glue. If you look here, there's a little bit of a glue dripping over there on this finger. And then over here on this finger as well, it's not actually seamed together perfectly. Now, there's nothing wrong with you just taking a couple dabs of glue and gluing some pieces together on your own if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I always like to tell people, if you're going to ask me to do it, uh, you're better off just leaving the pieces separated and then I could put it back together correctly. Because uh, the way it is, is like, think of these two fingers right here. Me, uh, we'll kind of like scroll back a little bit. Hold on. Alright, so... So, so think of like my two fingers touching together is the finger. Once it breaks and you glue it together, it's never going to be touching the same way it was originally. It's going to be spread just a little bit, you know, on a smaller scale. And then uh, you, you got to kind of like seam it. You're never going to get that seam perfect because, you know, you have resin, then you're putting glue, and then you're connecting resin again. So you're making it thicker. Then now with this piece is now I got to break these fingers off to do this correctly and then when I go put it back together we're going to have resin, some me messing of glue and then we're going to have a split of glue and resin and then we're going to have resin again so it's going to be like even more further apart so it's always best to try to you know get it done correct the first time uh, so what I like to tell people is you know get some BSI glue uh, this stuff is great for statues. Um, usually what it is is uh, BSI is uh, the thing and then with the companies and hobby stores but they put their label on here so you can get it anywhere else. Uh, you got your Insta set and then you can get like toothpicks or like these things. Uh, I don't know what they're really called. You can get these like on uh, e eBay. They're uh, micro applications. I guess you could use them for anything. I guess they're common for like women's makeup and stuff. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to grab like a dab of that just a dab and then you put it put it on the thing and you put the fingers together and you let it sit when you put when you try to glue like a really big drop here and then you put the finger on you run into this uh extra glue like dripping off this side there and that's what you don't want so like i say there's nothing wrong with gluing something on your own if you're happy with just putting the fingers together or like putting a hair broken piece on or something anything there's nothing wrong with that but now that i have to repair this it's even a couple more steps so i have to kind of break the finger. So I'm going to kind of snap the finger and I can only hope it's going to break from here again because if it doesn't break from here and it breaks from here it's even more of a pain but it should break from there because it's kind of the weakest and we'll kind of see. And that's on pretty good so I might not be able to break that finger off. Now we're going to try to see if this one will break off. Yeah that one comes off. Uh, so now when you look here there's a uh, some really messing of like extra glue and A is broken now and there's it so it's kind of even messier so I think with this finger here because this glue is uh pretty sturdy I'm going to just kind of do my normal dremel around it but I think like maybe over here as I'll dremel in and then I'll put a wire in there with some A's and then I'll wrap it around um I don't want to risk breaking this here or breaking it down here now because it's kind of It'll be make more of a mess, but this one definitely was going to have to break because it wasn't even even. It was kind of like off to the side. So what I'll do is I'll go in the garage now, I'll drum up around here, we'll come back, and then we can just start repairing these. But just want to give you guys an idea if you ever want to repair stuff on your own, which is there's nothing wrong with it. Just think about it too before you actually put like a drop of glue because when you put a drop of glue and you squeeze on, all that glue kind of goes around the edge too. So you don't really need that much. But... Let's get in the garage, we'll drum this up, and then we'll get this repaired. Alright, so I'm going to start repairing this in like two stages. I'm going to use some Aves uh, to get this in here. So what I did is I drummled out around in there. I drummled around the knuckle area. I didn't want to go too far on this one because if I did it, this would probably fall off. Uh, this one already, of course, came off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some Aves in here for now. This is going to kind of like help secure it. Just get a little piece up in there. Alright, and then I uh, cut some of this uh, brass wire. I'm going to put this little piece, if I can grab it. We're going to put this one in there. So, get yourself a tool. And... And we'll 
just cover it up. So I'll let this sit overnight. This will help me be able to dremel around and not uh, mess anything up tomorrow. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut a piece, which is probably like maybe about that big. Let's see if this was too small. Yeah, a little too small. And then what we're going to do is set this one up. That might be too big. Problem with this is if you drill too far into the fingers, you'll uh, weaken them up. So that's looking pretty good there. Just a tiny bit more. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take some of the A's, put it on this end. Take some A's. We don't have to take much of the A's because there's going to be a little bit of a, a window here. This is the A's uh, epoxy sculpt, so it's just a little bit tackier. Okay. And then we're going to take some glue. And then you get your Insta set. Okay, and that should be set up pretty well for tomorrow. So uh, what I'm going to do is going to let this just dry up a little bit. Well, eh, we'll take this tool so we don't use a paintbrush. And then we'll just kind of push some of this in there. And we do is we'll grab some more. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is let this sit overnight, so this way I can actually start seaming it all up correctly. It looks messy, but we'll get it all cleaned up. Okay, next day, and I sanded up the area. So if anyone's asking what I use, I use these 3M uh, sand, foam sandpapers. You get these off eBay. They don't really have them in stores anymore, at least I haven't found them. So uh, what I did is I sanded this all down. It feels nice and smooth to the touch, but I could be missing some areas where I might have to use some putty. So the next step is I'm going to try to mix up some color to match this skin tone. And what I'll do is I'll give it a nice base coat, let it dry. And then if I see any little areas that need to be uh, fixed up, I have a Tamiya putty, gray putty. I can kind of fill in those little cracked areas that maybe not, that's not flush. And then once that's all done, we could just kind of finish it up and get it done. Okay, so after looking at this color and I'm picking up a bunch of colors that are on my shelf, this is kind of looking like it's a uh, bronze flesh with a little bit of a white mix to it. So we're going to try to see if we can get at least a base color going. I know the bronze, if I put it on there, it's going to dry too dark because paint always dries darker. Uh, so I'm going to put a drop or two of white in here. Usually I kind of just mix around the cup, but I also use a paintbrush at times. You know, something just to go like this. And you kind of look at the color a little bit, and it's looking pretty good. So uh, what I like to do right here is kind of just... Uh, Abe's actually bonds really good with um, paint. So there's really no need to prime it up because I'm actually going to clear coat this as well with some car paint and then dull it down to give it that like almost candy shell. Now the knuckles have a little bit of like a hint of like reds on there so I'm going to try to match that up later. Uh, this kind of has a little bit of darker stuff but I mean looking in, in the light you know we're 
pretty much as close as possible for right now. Sorry about the lighting because I'm kind of in the shadow a bit. But the main point of this right now is to get my base color and to make sure everything's looking pretty good. So when I hold it up to the light, I'm not seeing many seams or anything. Um, I am seeing a little bit of a seam like around here on this side of the knuckle I got to kind of fill in but other than that looking pretty good I also did notice that this uh, finger has got a little bit of and uh, if I have to I kind of try to match up all the colors around the item because sometimes you're never going to get the blend perfect on one area so if you have to you kind of hit a little bit on the other pieces just to kind of blend it all together so I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then uh, what we'll do is we'll come back and see if, um, well actually, uh, also that helps. Got a blow dryer. So I like to let this sit for a little bit so it's almost like lunch time. So I'm going to go grab some lunch and then I can come back and uh, see about any little bit of a seam stuff in there. And then after that we can just touch it up, seal it, and it's ready to go. All right, so we got some putty on here, and there's a little spot over here I want to fill in. Now, I'm not worried about overfilling with the putty because it's going to sand pretty well. Then there is another spot. This stuff dries really fast, too, so you got to kind of get the little bit of the wet stuff and then hit it before it starts to kind of dry and then there's some weird spots and there's like this little weird casting issue like between this finger here I'm gonna fill that in because I just don't like it, it just looks weird and then uh, there was I think one spot it's kinda hard to tell it was right here Yeah, so we're looking pretty good. I think I got everything. At least I think I do. Yep. So this putty stuff dries really fast. Uh, like, you can almost like hit it with a blow dryer right now and then kind of um, start painting over it once it's smoothed out. But I'm going to let this cure for a little bit because i got to do some stuff in the garage. And then I can come back and sand it down again. And then we can finish touching it up. Alright, we're all sanded up. We're all smooth and we're looking good. So we do our base coat again. much uh, shading on this hand. I mean, there is a little, but it's very, oh, it looks a little weird. So, put a little too much white in that. So we'll get some of that out of there. Go with some regular bronze now. All right, it's got like a grayish, I don't know, kind of, it's not really like, it's a weird kind of shading. I can't really figure it out too much. So I think what we're going to do is go with the burnt raw sienna. I think it is raw. Get a little bit in there. Yeah, it seems like they almost used a gray. I don't know. Can't really figure it out. Maybe like a grayish. It's kind of weird. It's factories for you. So what I might do is look at my colors. Maybe. Let's try that. Almost like a almost like a drop of Payne's gray in with here. Give it a little bit of a, yeah, that's kind of what it was like. Yeah. All right, so we pretty much got the hand kind of where it was. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of a peened gray. I don't know why. I don't want to go too much with that. Peened gray could go a long way with skin colors. And so what I'm going to do is we have transparent tongue color, which is kind of like a reddish. So the knuckles were kind of hit with a little bit of a... That's about it. I mean, that's pretty much where the hand, oh, let's see. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is going to hit this with a garage, I mean, not the garage, I can't this, yeah, got the can over here. I'm going to go in the garage and hit it with this to clear coat it. Uh, it's going to really shine it up, and then we just dull it down, and then uh, we're ready to go. I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand why the hand... Had that paint gray in it. Yeah, now that I look at the hand, it's got like a, it kind of looks like they mixed uh, black in with skin tone and they kind of just shaded up that way instead of using like a, uh, you know, a mahogany or a raw sienna or something, you know? They kind of just went like black and you never want to throw black into any of your paints because it muddies it up. So it's kind of weird how they did that. But pretty much all looks uh, uniform now. So uh, I'll probably hit this with the hair dryer a little bit, let it dry, just kind of cure up a bit. Uh, we're going to go hit that, we'll dull it down, and then we're ready to go. Okay, so uh, off camera, before I went in the garage and glossed it up, I just went around and missed a little spot here and there. Plus I wanted to check it out in certain lights just to see, and I just had one or two spots. I just hit it with, real quick with the airbrush, but we're looking pretty good. So it's a little bit glossy maybe, as you can see. So right now we're going to use a Garage Kits Flat Top Coat. Really great stuff, I like it a lot. Uh, and just pretty much dull it down. Uh, I'm just going to hit around some areas that I'm not going to try to hit the fingernails too much because I don't want to dull those down. You know, you want to keep the fingernails a little bit shiny like the factory. But if I have to, I can always kind of clear coat them again. So I'm going to kick on the airbrush booth. It'll be a little bit loud. Uh, but we're just going to dull it down. And then uh, probably hit it with a hair dryer a little bit too afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, pretty much, uh, alright, so, uh, we are done. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. It's not super glossy anymore. It's got a little bit of the shine like the factory, but not too much. Fingers are all nice and evened out. Everything's secured. So, there you go. Hopefully, you guys helped you guys out. Uh, it gives you some, uh, tips on, you know, before you go and glue everything, you think about the process if you want to make it look, uh, seamless like, uh, like the factory sent it to you, or if you're okay with just putting a dab of glue and gluing it on nice and even, if you can get it that way. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.